Now, do you want to improve your EV shadows and go from this to this? Pretty simple. Now, I was talking about this issue with Felicia White. Go check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe. Give us some love. Look, I've subscribed. So this is the ship that we've been working on on the live stream. If you want this material set, there are links in the description on how to do it. But we're here to talk about shadows. Now, if we have a look, this is the current setup. It's just a simple sky texture for EV. Background, world output. You, little ripper, however, not really getting those dark shadows which we're expecting. So what we're going to do, let's move you over. I'm going to Shift D, duplicate the background. Shift A, search, and we're just going to add in a mix shader. There we go. And then we'll plug the bottom one in as well. And both the colors. All right. Whoop-dee-doo, Marco. Whoop-dee-doo. Whoop-dee-doo indeed. From here, Shift A, search, and I'm gonna type in light. And now we wanna add in the light path node. There we go. And we're gonna get the camera array, and we're gonna plug that into the factor of the mix shader. Now what this actually does, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. But on the top background, if we change the strength to let's say 0 0.1, <gasps> we've got shadows now, and they're quite dark, which is nice. And now we can just play with this value so let's go 0.5. There we go. Now you can see that the shadows are looking a little bit yuggly. Yuggly. <laughs> Super simple fix. Let's go into the render settings. We're going to expand shadow. And I'm going to change the cube size on both. Let's go 2048. And this one here, 4096. Look at the difference. Crisp as. If I know how to edit, I'll put both of them up left and right. So now when we do render you can see the difference in shadows. So if this is the effect that you're after, hey, got you covered. Don't forget to check Felicia White's YouTube page, link in the description. Subscribe.